Hey there, thanks for using FileMug. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through setting up customer account extensions for your store so that it's easy for customers to access their files anytime from their account page. On FileMug, when uh, you wanna sell digital products, customers have two options to download their files. You can either send them to your store, so that'll be a unique page on your store where they download files from, or you can have them log into their account to download files from their account page. You can use either option on your store. Which one you want to use depends on what you prefer in terms of the customer account experience. Uh, if you prefer you, for your customers to log in to get to your store and to actually browse your store to download their files, you know, definitely go ahead and use the your store option. But if you want your customers to log into their account, you wanna make sure that the person who actually purchased it is the one who's downloading it. Or if you wanna make it really easy for customers to access their files anytime from their account page, uh, we recommend using the customer account page option over here. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna walk you through setting up the customer account extensions. Uh, the first step for that is head to settings, download page, and then select customer account page over here. Next, the app will tell you that you need to add a few extensions to your customer accounts page configuration. Um, and it's really simple, there's just two steps involved. Um, there are a few different extensions. Some of them are required and the others are optional. So we'll go through setting that up. Uh, the first thing to do here is select open FileMonks uh, collection and then select the configuration that's live. So in this case, I already have a configuration ready to go and click open editor. You will be on this page where you'll see FileMonks extensions in the uh, left-hand side over here. There are two extensions that are mandatory and that you need to add for customers to be able to download their files. And there are a few more that are optional. Um, the first mandatory extension is the download page. This is the actual page inside the account where customers will download their files from. On this page, you will see that there are products, um, files for each of the products, and a list of all the products that they've purchased over here. You'll also see their limits, um, any information that you wanna tell them about the products, a thank you message, and all of that. So this is the first extension that's mandatory to add um, to the customer account experience. The next extension that we uh, that is required to be added is the order download button. So this order download button adds a download button on the right hand side over here of the order status page. And it also adds a download button on the orders list uh, for the customer. This means a customer clicks access downloads and it goes straight to the download page where they can download their files from. From here on out, the rest of the extensions are optional and it completely depends on what type of experience you want to give your customers. Um, the first one over here that we have is product downloads. Um, it adds a block to the order status page that has the list of digital products from their order. So if a customer has products that are not digital and a few that are, it will only show the list of products that are digital over here, along with some information about the product and a button to download their files. Similarly, we also have a summary download buttons that adds a button, download buttons for each of the products on the right hand side. Um, and again, this is also optional. If you're using one, we recommend that you don't use the other because that just might be confusing for your customer and um, ideally, yeah, you should just use one. And finally, there's also a download button, um, which we also recommend adding. Um, this adds a download button to the thank you page, which means that customers can get directly to their downloads um, immediately after placing their order. You can also add this extension to the order status page so it does the same thing as the product downloads and the summary downloads uh, buttons that we have seen uh, that we added just now. Um, so again, if you added those extensions here, you don't need to add this one. But the, the great part about this extension is that if you have it on the thank you page, it's very easy for customers to get directly to their downloads. And so once you've added the extensions that you would like, uh, simply go ahead and click save. And that's it, all your extensions are set up. Now, you may wanna change the text um, of the extensions that actually appear. You may wanna change the, the name of the button or the text um, showing up underneath the product. In which case, just click on customize over here for the extensions. You see a preview of all the extensions over here and for the ones that you want to change the text for, just um, look for the extension name. You will see um, a relevant setting over here and you can go ahead and change that. And finally, um, you can also change the look of the download page itself. Um, if you wanna change the thank you message that appears, uh, if you don't wanna show the product images or the prices, um, or if you want to add download limits, that's, this is the place where you do that. Um, and that's it. 
once you've set all this up, I recommend placing a test order just to confirm that everything works as it should. And your customers will then be able to download files from their customer account page. That's it. Thanks for using FileMonk and feel free to reach out to us if you need any help.